These are where the mistakes are going to happen. What's up you guys welcome back to the youtube barber academy we got over 400 videos to help you learn detailed tutorials and that's what we're all about here so today we're going to get right into it we are going to be fading a kid's hair down to skin to some long hair on the top that's really curly now we got some products that we're going to use and some techniques that we're going to use that are going to make this whole process a lot easier for you okay we're going to begin in phase one and if you guys want to see a further explanation of phase one i'll put it right here but we have the new gamma skin clipper and it cuts down to five zeros but i put the number three on it and we're going to remove some bulk i want to keep some contrast on the back and sides now i'm going to be just kind of tipping out and cutting i have performed this class live at fort worth barber supply which is pretty awesome now, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about Clipper Over Comb, you guys can check out this video. I'll post it right here. Uh, but with that being said, less is more, and we're going to make our connection into the top. And now we're going to be putting in the skin line. Now, notice that I got the trimmer facing down. And what that does is that actually cuts with the grain. That doesn't cut quite as close. We're also going to curve the skin line so that later I can get that contrast. I can keep some of that edge up and I'm gonna use that to my advantage. After I've put in the initial line with it facing down, I'm gonna come back up underneath and I'm gonna to try to get pretty close to that line, but I don't wanna run directly into it because that's gonna create something that's gonna be difficult to get out. And uh, I don't like things that are difficult to get out. Now, I know that some people are not a big fan of stamping in this line. This is one of the techniques, but there are several other techniques that we use in phase one. For instance, we might put this in with a taper blade. We might put this in with a fade blade. Uh, however, if your machines are set up, you won't have a problem removing that line. We're going to jump over to the electric shaver. Now, I have the Rebel electric shaver. It cuts really fast and it cuts really close. And my goal here is just to get very close to that line and start to lift out and get some of that pressure off of that so that it doesn't cut directly into that line. If you bang it straight into that line, you're going to create an even harsher guideline and it's going to be really difficult to get that out no matter how you got your machine set up. So removing the pressure and then you also might try some tapping and moving down with the grain. That can also be really helpful. But the goal before we move on is to make sure there's no line in between the two steps that you did. So let's get into this blend. All right, we're gonna begin with an open taper and we actually are using a taper blade. Now taper blade is the curved blade. It is also the forgiving blade. It's the soft cutting blade and we're gonna begin scooping out and we're gonna create that guideline about an inch in width and we need to make sure that it reflects the same as the skin line that we put in uh, before we move on to the next step now the next step that i like to do is we're going to put the number one on we're going to open it two clicks and we're going to repeat the same process following the same shape following that same skin line position that we put in initially and that's really going to help set off this blend and make sure that it blends out in each direction uh, appropriately so you see me scooping out at the top, yes, but my main goal is to hold it flat at a certain point. I have to make sure that I get down to that length. And also we're gonna jump over to the number one and one half and we have opened it two clicks. Now I know some of you guys are gonna ask me about the two click and flick method. It's something that I've been teaching for a while, but the reason is I like to start it in the center, all right? And if you feel like you need to open it or close it during any of these processes, you can feel free to do so. Um, most of the time I don't, but you can feel free to, to go ahead and do that you know these are guidelines so now when it comes time to remove that bottom line we need to get rid of the taper blade and we need to switch over to something that could cut closer so i have the fusion blade and if you notice i'm only going to be using a couple of teeth just like you see me doing over that brush just a couple of teeth to knock this out and i've actually closed it all the way and then i opened it just one single click so now we're going to be just using three maybe four teeth and we're just barely coming over the top of that line and then little by little i'm going to begin stepping up my clicks one at a time repeating the same process another one repeat the same process i'm going to do this till my clipper is back in the open position i realize that this is going to take you a little bit more time however i actually find that this will take me less time because i'm not going to struggle as much it's going to be more thorough and i'm going to have this finished without any trouble so that's really kind of my goal with this is to try to minimize mistakes because these are where the mistakes are going to happen 
between the open taper half and skin that's the most difficult part to do and that's why i like to use the taper blade as well because it helps me meet all those different lengths so you're going to see me jump back and forth between my taper blade and my vapor blade my vapor blade is a mixture between a fade blade and a taper blade and it's a really soft really forgiving and if i flick up into one of those areas that i really shouldn't be at well the taper blade is not really going to punish me whereas the fade blade uh, it's definitely going to leave a mark and i might not be able to get that out i might not be able to fix that so we're repeating the same steps with the taper blade as we did with the fade blade or the vapor blade however you guys choose to do it we're going to throw the half guard on there and i'm going to repeat the exact same process where i begin stepping it up and now i'm kind of just hunting around for dark spots now there will come a time during your blend watch out for this there'll come a time during your blend where you need to pull off and you need to realize what tool is actually best for the job and that might be the texturizing shear that might be shear over comb so don't overdo it with your clipper you can always go back if you have to all right so we're going to get it pretty close here and we're actually going to jump in and we're going to we're going to begin cutting the top pretty soon um, but before i did that i guess i just kind of wanted to knock off that edge up it was just bothering me right there uh, a little bit so I'm using the, the sabers, the new Stylecraft sabers. They have the one blade on them. And I've been getting a lot of questions about these trimmers lately. And it's, it's the, the question that they're asking most is, is the one blade equipped on the saber? And the answer is yes. And the blade that is on this saber is not stock. It's not normal. It's actually just like the Slimline Pro. And I believe that is for sale on the Stylecraft website. And of course, you guys could use my code Eddie and you could save 10%. And you're, you're going to see me going in there with the trimmer, finishing that detail, helping to remove that final line. And I'm just using a couple of teeth and it's not the whole line. It's just a, a spot here and a spot there. And uh, we're getting it done. Now we're going to move on to phase three, cutting the top and the way that I like to cut the top and the way that I like to teach the top. I'll put that right here. But essentially, we're going to set in a stationary Mohawk guideline and then we're going to begin standing behind the client and we're gonna work it back in rows on each side. And I have that stationary guideline in the center. I could see that. And then I'm also going to develop a bit of a traveling guideline as I work my way back. I'm gonna do the left side. I'm gonna bounce back to the right side and I'm gonna do everything I can to keep it balanced and always pulling it up from 90 degrees from the scalp. So that's pretty much that. And this is going to look actually connected but the truth is it's it's a little disconnected because we, we want to leave all them curls i want it to curl up i know how this kid likes to style his hair so at the end of the day if i cut that too short just because i'm obsessed with making this perfect connection um that's not the right thing to do so now we're going to go in there with some shear over comb just a quick note before you use texturizing shears i really like to do as much as i can with shear over comb you would be surprised what you can actually accomplish with this technique and uh, if you guys want to check out a full video on this technique i'll drop it right here i'm going to use one of my favorite products from johnny b and if you guys haven't checked out the vlog where i went to the factory and i actually took their academy Man, it was dope. You guys could check that out. There's definitely some nuggets in there, uh, but we're going to use the Fuddy. I got the new Cosmic Blow Dryer, and what that does is that stops frizz uh, from happening, and it allows his curls to stay in place, and then we're going to go through. I just threw a little bit of enhancement on his edge, and, you know, that's that's pretty much a wrap. It might be a couple of things I did in between uh, here and, and taking that, yeah, that final. I think I did the other side, too. Uh, so just just let me know man in the comments if you guys learned something from this video if you like this style of video if you guys like content like this the members usually get this type of stuff early uh, they get the exclusive firsthand look on this stuff and of course join me in the lives and uh, next week I'll be going to Tennessee and I'm hoping to link up with some barbers in Tennessee so I'm looking forward to that all right this is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber, and we got over 400 videos to help you learn. So smash that subscribe button. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you like it, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.